Okay, what do we have here? Squire by Fender Strat. Or is it? Reasonably nice rosewood fingerboard. Things look okay. The bridge doesn't look quite right. Maybe it's an early bridge. Well, however, it is a very nice straight neck. And reasonably looking guitar anyway, all over. I have prepared this uh, a certain amount, but I haven't taken it apart as such. So you're going to probably find out as much as I do at the same time. Right. Because my tripod isn't working that great, I've got to do this with one hand. And they're coming off quite easy. I haven't had the uh, squatch plate off. Said I haven't had it this off, but I did loosen most of the screws. That seems got some age to it. If you can actually pick up the differences between the colours there. That doesn't look good. Not good at all. It's been attacked by woodlouse. Woodlouses. This doesn't to me anyway, look like a squire wiring or, <coughs> or pickups. And the body needs quite a bit to be desired. Many of you will know more about it than I will ever know about it. So what is your, are your opinions? Is this correct or not? If you can pick up the uh, there's writing on the uh, wiring. The pots don't seem to have any uh, markings or of any description. Right. Pop this on again. As I said well before, look at the routing or lack of. Turn it over. See, I've taken most of this screwed off the. Uh, Neck. Dumpty dumpty dum. I did look at this before. Instead of being straight, 
as they should be. Go on. But this looks distinctively unfender like. Not very thick on the old stick it through the string thing. And again, the routing here is not great. Time for the leg. Doesn't look like uh, many people, if anybody, has taken these off before. <coughs> no fender or squire on here, no serial number of any kind either. Nothing at all. Looks a little bit better than the uh, routing. Let's see, see what this is like. No date. Or any markings. Judging by the discoloration, I should think this neck is a good 10, maybe 15 years old. And again, no serial number. No Indonesia, China, or Japan anywhere. And again, nothing here. <coughs> it's not too big a problem. But are we ripping most of this stuff out? And for a whole 50 quid, not bad again. I was thinking this is a real squire neck, because who would worry and go to the trouble of faking a squire neck? Might as well just put fender. Cheap body, homemade body, who knows? I'll keep you updated on the mods that will be happening with this guitar. Up next, quite a few ideas of the old tinter web, so anything could happen. Next time. So we're back again. Kind of more with the scratch plate. Don't know what this is. I did find an interesting thing. Hope you can see it. Shanghai, as far as I know. never been any of this kind of uh, wiring in any um, Chinese squire. Let's see, again, it does seem to be some age 
to the scratch plate. And I may be thinking, well, this could be an early Chinese rip-off of a Telecaster, or Stratocaster, sorry, type body. That is out of the way. It's not that bad. <coughs> what I suspect is somebody wanted a better neck. Had this body. But buggered neck. And stuck this on there. This, as I said, is a good neck. And again some age to it. The nuts. The nuts isn't bad. I don't think I'll be bothering to change it. Fine. Not cut very well, but it does its job. Kind of. I have enough about that. Further to my question of age. Definitely see discolouring. I oh, it's really good. Trying to age it. Oh, I just haven't bothered to do anything good with it. And again, if anyone has any idea who made these pickups, what they're made of, yes, I know, it'll be magnets and stuff, magnets and wire. I won't be using them. Well, there you go. It does work, after a fashion. I don't know if you can see that. But hey, till next time.